Hi, I'm Dr. James from Triquan Aesthetics. So hyperhidrosis is in this warm weather, it avoid those embarrassing sweat patches. Fortunately, we have a fantastic treatment, about 30 to 35% to have a genetic inclination towards excessive sweating and is far safer than more drastic surgical options. Will it cause you to sweat more in other areas? Hi, I'm Dr. James from Triquan Aesthetics. Today I'm going to go over what hyperhidrosis is and how we can treat it. So hyperhidrosis is the medical term for excessive sweating. It commonly happens in the underarms or the known as the axilla, but it can of course happen in any other parts of the body as well. And with the weather getting warmer as it is at the moment, this can obviously lead to anxiety caused by sweat patches and the embarrassment that's associated with it. Fortunately, we have a fantastic treatment and that's Botox which is a simple, long-lasting and uh, effective treatment for this problem. So this treatment is well established and has been used for many years in both the NHS and in private clinics. I'll go through in a bit what the treatment involves and answer any frequently asked questions that we get from our patients. So Botox is a fantastic treatment for this problem. It's simple, long-lasting and very effective and it's becoming very popular amongst all our patients. Before I go into the treatment, I'll just go over briefly how we classify hyperhidrosis. There's two broad categories, primary and secondary. Primary are the patients who have a genetic inclination towards the excessive sweating, and that accounts for about 30 to 35% of the patients who suffer with this. So secondary hyperhidrosis, the excessive sweating is due to an underlying medical condition. Examples are hypothyroidism, adrenal disorders, obesity and Parkinson's. Also patients who take SSRIs, they will also ex experience issues in regulating their body temperatures and this of course can lead to excessive sweating. So at Triquan Aesthetics, we treat the hypidrosis with Botox. It involves lots of micro injections in the underarms and the Botox works to prevent the sweat glands from producing excessive sweat. It's highly popular and it lasts for up to six to eight months. The procedure itself takes about 20 minutes, but of course at Trick One Aesthetics, we pride ourselves on a detailed and bespoke consultation and we educate our patients and ensure that they have a full understanding of what the treatment involves and answer any questions. The treatment itself is minimally invasive with just these micro injections of the Botox. It's long lasting, as I've said, with virtually no side effects and is far safer than other more drastic surgical options to treat the condition. So how does the treatment work? The Botox itself blocks the signals to the sweat glands, preventing them from producing sweat. So how quickly should you expect to see results? Well, generally patients will see a drastic difference between 10 to 14 days after the treatment. And as I said, it lasts sort of six to eight months, and then you can have further treatments at that time to prolong the effect. Another question that we get quite a lot is patients just think that if you stop the sweating in the armpit, will it cause you to sweat more in other areas? And this is not true. It just targets the area of concern. It doesn't cause you to sweat anywhere else more. So I hope that was helpful. And in this warm weather, it's becoming increasingly popular and a fantastic treatment to avoid those embarrassing sweat patches. Feel free to book in with us a clinic and we'll go over everything in more detail. We can answer any questions and I hope and I look forward to seeing you in clinic soon. Thank <laughs> you.